inside the largest semiconductor manufacturer in the world. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Tech Luck Zone. Production of semiconductors is an exceedingly competitive business, with top players in the industry dictating much of the technological process for the world at large. A few companies own their foundries and brand chips with their own company name. Think Intel, INTC, while others custom build chips for their clients. These groups include one of the largest and most successful companies you've probably never heard of, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, TSM. In this video, we'll talk about the world's largest semiconductor factory. Have a look! If you like our video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing is one of Taiwan's largest companies and among the world's leading semiconductor companies. Founded in 1987, the company is headquartered in Shinshu, Taiwan, with shares trading on both the Taiwan Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange (NYSE). As of August 26, 2020, the company had a market capitalization of $423.96 billion and employed nearly 49,000 people. But what does a semiconductor company like TSMC do? The semiconductor industry plays a very important role in the production of electronic devices. Companies in this field research, design, and manufacture microchips that are used in communication devices, radios, televisions, medical equipment, as well as video games. So that tablet you play your games on and the phone you use to text contain technology that is produced by semiconductor companies like TSMC. According to the company's website, TSMC produces more than 10,000 products for almost 500 clients worldwide. In fact, the company produces chips for some of the largest names in the world. Among many others, the company designs and manufactures chips for Apple AAPL, for whom TSMC is the only company to make A-series chips. In fact, Apple is TSMC's largest client, accounting for one-fifth of revenue, revenue that exceeded $35.8 billion in 2019. Apple is just one of the hundreds of the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing's customers, which can be divided into three classes. Integrated device manufacturers, company systems, and fadeless companies. That last one refers to firms that design and sell chips but farm out the business of actually making the things to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing itself. Even some giants of semiconductor production, such as Advanced Micro Devices AMD, have switched from the so-called pure play model to farming out the production of chips to companies like TSMC. As a pure play foundry, it never actually uses its own brand name on its products. That's much to the delight of its customers, Apple, and over 440 others. Taiwan Semiconductor sells chips to clients all over the developed world. Geopolitics does make an appearance in the company's breakdown of its revenue by region. The company's biggest market, by far, is in North America, which brings in more than 60% of the company's revenue. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing officially lists its country of headquarters as the Republic of China. A seemingly trivial distinction, yet one sure to anger forces in what the company refers to as mainland China, where Taiwan is officially considered nothing more than a rogue province to one day be readmitted whether by agreement or force. As a practical matter for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing investors, the distinction means that 2% of company revenue originating in China refers to both the free and communist varieties. Inside the factory and the process of manufacturing Semiconductor device fabrication is the process used to manufacture semiconductor devices. Typically, the metal oxide semiconductor MOS, devices used in the integrated circuit IC, chips that are present in everyday electric and electronic devices. This is a multi-step sequence of photolithic and chemical processing steps such as surface passivision, thermal oxidation, planar diffusion, and junction isolation. 
during which electronic circuits are gradually created on a wafer made of pure semiconducting material. Silicon is almost always used, but various compound semiconductors are used for specialized applications. The entire manufacturing process, from start to package ships ready for shipment, takes six to eight weeks and is performed in highly specialized semiconductor fabrication plants also called foundries or fabs. All fabrication takes place inside a clean room, which is the central part of a fab. The more advanced semiconductor devices, such as a modern 14107MN nodes, fabrication can take up to 15 weeks, with 11 to 13 weeks being the industry average. Production in advanced fabrication facilities is completely automated and carried out in a hermetically sealed nitrogen environment to improve yield, the percentage of microchips that function correctly in a wafer. With automated material handling systems taking care of the transport of the wafers from machine to machine, the wafers are transported inside FOUPs, special sealed plastic boxes. All machinery and FOUPs contain an internal nitrogen atmosphere. The air inside the machinery and the FOUPs is usually kept cleaner than the surrounding air in the clean room. This internal atmosphere is known as a mini environment. Fabrication plants need large amounts of liquid nitrogen to maintain the atmosphere inside the production machinery and FOUPs, which is constantly purged with nitrogen. The rise of the Chinese chip maker. When Li Ta Sen was a little boy, he used to walk to school through fields of sugarcane taller than himself. Some 40 years later, he is still making a living by selling off the same fields as a property boom takes hold of his hometown of Shenyu. The reason for the construction frenzy in the once shabby rural town in southern Taiwan is simple the arrival of the world's most advanced chip factory. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, the largest contract chip maker in the world, is building a plant to make three nanometer chips, semiconductors expected to be up to 70% faster and more power efficient than the most advanced in production now, which will be used in devices from smartphones to supercomputers. Prices for the adjacent agricultural land tripled last year and we had the highest transaction volume in our 10-year history, says Lee, who runs the local branch of real estate broker Century 21, and has watched TSMC engineers snap up newly built apartments and townhouses. But the impact of TSMC's new fabrication plant, or FAB, radiates far beyond southern Taiwan. In the world of semiconductors, this is the center of the universe. The plant, due to start mass production next year, will use process technology which, so far, only TSMC and South Korea's Samsung Electronics have mastered. At present, the most advanced chips are 5MN. The new chips bring huge advantages to customers. The smaller the transistors on the chip, the lower the energy consumption and higher the speed. Measuring at 160,000 square meters, the size of 22 football fields, the plant is commensurate with TSMC itself, a hulk of a stranglehold on global semiconductor manufacturing. Normally a low-key company, TSMC's massive investment in cutting-edge technology and growing influence are quietly drawing it into the limelight. At a time when a global chip shortage has forced slowdowns or even suspensions of car production from Japan to Europe and America, and with politicians in many countries making noise about bringing more manufacturing onshore, the Taiwanese company's dominant position in global chip production is attracting attention. Given that China retains a standing threat of invasion of Taiwan, the country has long been at the center of a military rivalry between Washington and Beijing in East Asia. But it is also increasingly caught up in the technological competition between the two superpowers. China's companies have been unsuccessful in their bid to match TSMC's manufacturing prowess. But the US has also started to struggle. Intel is set to outsource some of its production of processors, its crown jewel, to the Taiwanese company. In Washington, the Pentagon has been quietly pressing for the U.S. to invest more in advanced chip making, so that its weapons are not dependent on foreign manufacturers. 
TSMC has long gone largely unnoticed because of the semiconductors it manufactures, are designed and sold in products by branded vendors such as Apple, AMD, or Qualcomm. Yet the company controls more than half of the world market for made-to-order chips. And it is getting more dominant with every new process technology node. While it only accounts for 40 to 65% of revenues in the 28 to 65 NM category, the nodes used for producing most car chips, it has almost 90% of the market of the most advanced nodes currently in production. Since every new node of process technology requires more challenging development and bigger investment in newer production capacity, other chip makers have over the years started focusing on design and left production to dedicated foundries such as TSMC. The steeper the cost became for new fabrication units, the more other chip makers started to outsource and the more TSMC's competitors in the pure play foundry market dropped out of the race. If you like our video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.